visit any city irrespective of where you are in the world and you would notice that there is always more number of pigeons in the sky than any other bird people have very polarized options about them some love them and feed them with breadcrumbs grains and even leftover food others consider them a nuisance how often have you tied pigeon nets to keep those pesky pigeons from turning your acs into their bedrooms or toilets people who have swanky cars parked on open basements and on roads would shoot them at sight if given a choice for the ability of the pigeons to aim exactly on the windscreen whatever your stance may be if you live in a big city you have to deal with pigeons ever wondered why there are so many pigeons and why are they mainly concentrated in cities rather than villages and small towns if you have been wondered as yet wonder now of course who can forget the iconic scene from the classic hit ddlj where amrish puri is seen feeding pigeons in london and later in the countryside of punjab along with shahrukh khan and who can forget the famous song kabootar ja 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 from mene pyar kiya where suman sends prem her love message through his dub many popular city squares including our very own gateway of india is known for a huge number of pigeons pecking away at food in fact you can really say that these birds have literally taken over the world today's topic is going to answer this question why are there so many pigeons in our cities before we get into that i have a request for all my viewers please could you click on the bell icon next to the subscriber button and select all or personalized if you do not do that you won't get notified when i release my videos and you would end up missing them you have been listening to so much signs on this channel that you may be pigeonized by now so i thought let's discuss something lighter and really interesting today something you might have not thought about so if you are ready follow me ao ao They peck at the pavements, they coo overhead, make nests on ACs and ventilators, poop all over the balcony and cars, and their favorite toilets are statues. And they don't distinguish between a 2000 crore statue and they most certainly don't seem to respect the greatness of the people whose statues they are. And they swoop in hundreds across town squares. Pigeons have become such a permanent fixture in our urban landscapes that cities would seem oddly vacant without them. but while many people harbor a dislike for these omnipresent creatures sometimes labeling them as rats with wings few of us stop to ponder how pigeons became so numerous in the first place especially in cities pigeons have lived alongside man for thousands of years with the first images of pigeons being found by archaeologists in mesopotamia which is the modern day iraq dating back to 3000 bc to ancient people a white pigeon would have seemed miraculous and this explains why the bird was widely worshiped and considered to be sacred of course when it comes to india anything is sacred so we have chabutras or bird feeding tables in many parts of gujarat rajasthan and maharashtra people built pigeon homes called dow cots in many parts of europe to honor these gray flying friends if you really want a proof that pigeons are special birds you don't need to go too far If you open the book on the origin of species and read the first chapter you will notice that Charles Darwin doesn't start with tortoises or his famous finches or the giant fossilized armadillos instead he starts explaining his theory with pigeons Darwin was intrigued by the resilience and adaptability of these flying creatures so he used pigeons as an example to explain his game changing theory of natural selection any chest of a pigeon would swell up with pride knowing this Initially pigeons were used by humans as a protein rich food source. People then began domesticating and breeding the birds for food, creating a subspecies that led to the diversity of urban pigeons that we see today. As other poultry such as chickens became more popular, pigeons came out of the menu and people began breeding them as a hobby. Racing pigeons and pigeons used for shooting practice became popular. Pigeon poop was once used as manure because of their high nitrate content. Then we realized that they can be used to home in and deliver messages so we started breeding them for that and finally we ended up creating millions of them in roman times carrier pigeons were used to carry results of sporting events such as the olympic games europeans loved their pigeons and carried some of them to america where some escaped and started to breed there 
In modern times, pigeons have been used to great effect during war times. In both the first and second world wars, the pigeon saved hundreds of thousands of human lives by carrying messages across enemy lines. Pigeons were carried on ships in convoys and in the event of an attack, a messenger pigeon was released with details of the location of the sinking ship. In many cases, this led to survivors being rescued and lives being saved. Their use as a messenger in wartime has resulted in many pigeons like Shayami and G.I. Joe and Paddy being awarded honours by the British and French governments. Interestingly, the last pigeon messaging service in the world was in Katak, Odisha called the Orissa Police Carrier Pigeon Service which was operational till, believe it or not, 2008. Carrier pigeons, some 800 of them, had provided daily communications between Odisha's 400 police stations across the state for over 60 years since independence. So pigeons have been of invaluable service to humans during war times and during those times when communications were not as developed as today. It is estimated that there are more than 400 million pigeons worldwide, most of which are city dwellers just like us. The city pigeons we know today are actually descended from a wild creature known as the rock dove. As its name suggests, this bird used to live on rocky coastal cliffs at one point of time. Now the city offers a similar structure to their natural habitat. Pigeons have a natural affinity for hard surfaces. They like concrete, marble and stone structures which are abundant in cities. The apartments that we build closely resemble their natural habitats, rocky cliffs. So pigeons have taken to cities much like a fish takes to water. Cities are abundant with places that make good nesting places for pigeons such as AC units, fire escapes, ledges, window frames and ventilator holes. And they are not fussy when it comes to making their homes. Just a few tweaks here and there and their 5 star homestay is ready. Another reason for their survival is their food habits. Pigeons tend to eat almost anything that we humans eat grains, bread, leafy vegetables, fruits, seeds, even pizzas and donuts. Pigeon anatomy is very well adapted to take advantage of the foods around them. Their intestines are longer enabling them to break down and absorb the complex carbohydrates. That is one of the reasons why you find so many pigeons in cities. An overabundance of food sources and an anatomy that which supports those food. With so much food that can be found in trashes and what people provide, I don't think any city pigeon goes to bed hungry. Before reaching adulthood, baby pigeons are well known for feeding on a substance called pigeon's milk. This isn't true milk but instead a semi-solid regurgitated substance extremely high in proteins and fats to keep the hatchlings grow to full size. So instead of having to rely on insects, worms and seeds to keep their young alive, which are resources that would be rarer in cities, pigeons can provide for their offspring no matter what they eat. Also, have you noticed that you rarely, in fact almost never, see a baby pigeon unless you look into their nest. Most small birds leave the nest after only about 10 days of life. But pigeons are different. Their young remain in the nest for up to 2 months before flying off on their own. This gives the young pigeon a distinct advantage over many other species of birds due to the fact that it leaves the nest later, allowing the bird to cope better in the first few days of its life. And if all of this isn't enough, the real deal is sealed due to the breeding powers of the pigeon. Easy access to food, a cozy home, what else do you need? A nice pigeon hole to mate. Pigeons are a species that breed throughout the year, almost 8 times a year. The easy availability of food and shelter means that pigeons spend a lot less time searching for food and more time mating. That is why we see the pigeon population exploding out of control in many cities. They have pretty much nothing else to do apart from indulging in some bee grubbing in their rented OYO rooms and bringing two young into the world each time. That's a lot of chicks in a year. Another thing that worked in favor of pigeons in cities is the dying out of natural predators like falcons, eagles and hawks. Interestingly enough, pigeons are good at avoiding predators and other moving objects like automobiles. Pigeons are one of the most acrobatic flyers in the natural world, so it's not easy for predators to prey on pigeons or get hit by automobiles. Ask my cats, they keep trying every single day without any success. Another reason why pigeons are highly successful in cities is that they are incredible navigators. Scientists are still working to understand the mechanism behind their navigation abilities, but some pigeons can be driven hundreds of miles away 
yet still managed to navigate back to their homes. These navigation skills help pigeons in moving through the complex cityscape back to their roosts at night. If all of these are not enough, pigeons are considered to be one of the most intelligent birds on the planet and are able to undertake tasks previously thought to be reserved for humans and primates. The pigeon is one of the only six species and the only non-mammal to pass the mirror test which is the ability to recognize its own reflection in a mirror. All these traits give pigeons a competitive edge compared with other species that might attempt survival in cities. For centuries, pigeons have been the companions of humans. Pigeons, more than any other animal, have been man's best friend in times of crisis. But with rapid urbanization and the human population gradually concentrating in cities, our relationship with pigeons seems to have changed. Many of us now see them as pests being in numbers beyond control and we are to be blamed for it. Anything in excess is not good and that goes for pigeons as well as humans. Many cities have started taking action to bring down their population. Whether or not you support this, one thing you must surely appreciate about pigeons is their incredible ability to adapt and thrive in complex city environments. They are the ultimate city survivors. I hope you liked this episode. If you did and learned something new, please comment and share the video. And as I requested, please click on that bell icon so that you won't miss the future episodes. I will be back soon. Until next time, it's bye-bye from Pale Blue Thoughts.